F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend requests for viewers with friend requests, friends to watch Barry season one. Episode 3, title, Chapter 3, Make the Unsafe Choice. Hmm. Well, we definitely know what's on the line. Um, <laughs> seems like he's not really worried about it, though, right at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it doesn't seem like saving his boy, his, his father figure, I would say, uh, doesn't seem like that's at top of the mind right now because uh, he right after that he went right into the acting uh what was it the it wasn't the acting joint it was the the, the memorial the channel. memorial there we go yeah the memorial so yeah man i'm i'm let's see what they're gonna do with this one of course at the very end we seen that uh he was taking photos of him and the and the girl so it's potential here that Barry might have to turn up for other reasons, so we'll see how that goes, man. But um, I'm ready for this one. How about you, Formal? How you feel going into this next episode? Uh, I feel great, man. That's that's where my head is at. The you know the pictures of of the the acting crew. Um, you know when things get personal, that's that's typically when the head turns up. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's gonna be trying to protect this acting life. I feel like from the from the head of life so as soon as they try to touch uh old girl or, or anybody else i think he gonna he gonna get right especially old girl so i can't i can't wait for that to unravel but i'm ready let's do it listen y'all we're not gonna hold you here any longer we're just gonna dive right into this episode so if you haven't already don't forget to like don't forget to comment and also don't forget to subscribe okay the goal is uh 10k only way we're gonna get there though is if you click that button also click that bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. It's cuff, boy. Yeah, I forgot to mention that he definitely does have like a Dexter vibe to him. I've never seen Dexter, so. Yeah, this definitely. I wouldn't know. We all act in our everyday lives. The basketball player. Okay, we got the teacher as the narrator. The woman acts as if she's had a climax with the incompetent yeah. lover. Mm. We all act. <laughs> she acts. But what I want you to do is simply identify moment to moment what you've been doing subconsciously. He got that thing on him. What he about to... Probably on a job. I remember once Patrick Swayze, a true friend, until we had a falling out and he had it written into his will that I was barred from his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they cut it up. <laughs> I like that. Uh... Hey man, are you seeing this beautiful morning? <laughs> okay. That shit like the Invincible. Oh, I like that. Though. I like that intro. It's like Invincible. I need you to wait, Barry. Just a little bit longer for my signal. Wait. Why? Oh yeah, he's doing the job for them. Yep, yep. And bullet to the Bolivians. You sent a bullet to the Bolivians? What, like in the mail? DHL. DHL. <laughs> See, this way, we send a message to the Bolivians. They open mail. It's bullet. It's what? Phone rings. Hello? Paco's dead. What? <laughs> they want the dramatic mm. effect. <laughs> <laughs> Little what leads to big what? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Wait for high sign. Hank, I got a clear shot of Paco right now. I'm taking I'm not waiting for some fucking bullet. I'd rather you did, though. Man, fuck you! Nailing a bullet? What fucking grade am I in, man? You bald fuck! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Website says it's out for delivery, so the bullet should be arriving anytime between now and midnight. Oh Damn. my god, the wait times. Because if you do not, we do have fuchs here still with us, and I would hate for something <sighs> to happen. Yep. I know you guys are fast. Just right? dangle this over ah, your ah, head. Ah. Buddy, hello. This Paco seems like a good informant. Why kill him at all? Look, 
the whole <laughs> man did a lunch. They are sending Stovka. What? Oh my god. Stovka? He's over here? Oh my god. Who's Stovka? Know, Is he like the best assassin in history of Chechnya? Oh, he's like mm. Zohan. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, he's still tender, but he it's he's still tender. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, when I was a kid, <laughs> I saw him walking out of the discotheque, he flicked cigarette at bird, knocked it out of sky. When will he be here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this man did not Bro, die when they shot the him. the side yo. turn. When will he be here? Can she do kid parties? The spring princess gathers the fairy dust for the rainbow festival. This makes sense. Yay! <laughs> Birthday girl, let's count her turns. One, two, three. <laughs> Y'all do not know how to count turns. Hold on. Five, six, Hello? <laughs> they just count in seconds. <laughs> let's do it. Shit. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. What happened? Mm -hmm. Was she blind or something? <laughs> She was probably dizzy as hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Never stopped it. <laughs> Just so many clear shots that they giving him, like, and then watch when they get the bullet, no clear shot. He gonna be protected <laughs> by an armored truck. It's damn near like he taunting him almost. <laughs> he probably is. What if the dude paid him not to even mm. kill him? Oh yeah, that he gotta pay for the class if he miss it or not too. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Come on, get out. Go, go, go. Back to work. Is this the guy? Wait, I was gonna say, is this? Him? Oh, he's an old head. Yep. Mm-hmm. Damn. Pop. Mm. E tovo človeka tam. Pop. Damn. <laughs> wow. You want coffee? Something? Come inside. No. Was my father's. I know he would have wanted you to have this. <laughs> First time in L.A. I just what? talked to the manager of the gym where Ryan Madison worked, uh -huh. and it turns out that Romeo Madison mm. was training Goran Pazar's wife. Mm. Mm. Here we mm. go. So we know why the Chechens would kill Ryan, but who killed the Chechens? Well, it's probably someone from the gym or the acting class, because Ryan didn't have much life outside of these two places, right? Wow. That that narrows it down. Pretty. Damn. Let's see your space. <sighs> wow. I'm uh, in my childhood bedroom. <laughs> oh, look, here's the ball from the championship game. <laughs> oh. No. I knew he wasn't feeling this shit. What are my sister's dolls doing in here? I think that's enough, thank you. Yeah, get him up out of here. My son is nervous because we've arrived at the eight pit. Tell me, Sally. What's in the eight pit? <laughs> Apes. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd that nigga look up and down like that? So where are we? Case of scene, a hit. Yeah. All right, we're in a grocery store. All right, here we go. This is great. What do you see up there on the shelves? Gum. Gum is at the register, Barry. Mm. Right, here we go. <laughs> that sounded so menacing. <laughs> now, take a look around. What do you see? Cereal. Soup. We see soup. What kind of soup? Um, chicken noodle. Consume. I don't know. <laughs> what is your emotional connection to Sue? Like for me, I feel like it's somehow related to your relationship with your mom. Like maybe there was like <laughs> sickness. Sickness. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're like stomach ache or the flu. I guess. We're in the middle of a class. We'd like to speak with you all about Ryan Madison. Mm. There we go. Stovka, let me tell you something. How how old a guy are you, Stovka? Forty-five. Hell no! Oh my God! <laughs> These niggas is clowning. I had a wife, a child, but to leave me. Mm. My whole life, ever since a child, is death. 
There is only one true way out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he gonna himself? You might want to look up, buddy. He, he really wild. Yeah, he's you might want to. Yep. Yep. Damn. That's crazy. I think I recognize that actor. I just can't pinpoint it. What? No, he he's do? definitely from somewhere. That man said 45. I'm an actress. I work in auto parts. I manage three franchises of Kurs Gym. What? Kurs. Kurs? Kurs. 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 Okay, Kurs. I'm like, <laughs> Kurs. We drinking beers? Did you kill him? No. <laughs> what? How? How? Yeah, how? Damn. Damn. Have a little more. How much more pressure, of Mr. Madison? Okay. <laughs> men. It was the bait. I was the, the stick to fish with. <laughs> the fishing rod, nigga. Is there anything else you could think of that would be helpful in the investigation? No. Okay. So thank you for coming in, Mr. Griffin. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You're thank good. Thank you, guys. Hmm. Okay. That seemed to easy go well. for him. Yeah. Pull it almost there, hang in there, baby. I once auditioned for the guy that robbed the house on Full House. And I carried a loaded Beretta with me into the audition. Oh. Just to feel the weight of it. Mm. Did you get the part? Oh, they freaked out. Now look, you're in a shell. <laughs> he ain't answered. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a no. You're going to play Blake in Glen Gary, Glen Ross, the movie. I'm going to send you the pages. Here's my only direction. I'll let the cat out. <laughs> <laughs> and then walks right away. Like, Hey, detective. Mm. You know, I've done my share of ride-alongs. Uh. I know the ins and outs of your profession. I mm -hmm. mean, through the hips so out. I'm standing. Man. You check all the boxes. <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to be? I run this place. <laughs> okay. Uh, that that's the direction it looked, and it's the, definitely the direction it was. I'm like. glad it is. <laughs> when he was down there, he learned a few things about how life doesn't always go according to plan. And when you need a friend, you're right. No, they're right. <laughs> These animals have so much to teach us. They're incredible creatures. Yeah, we're ready for you now. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hey, you're away from me, right? No. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. This man about to blow it. He finna get. What's his name? Fuse. Liv. Hey, girl. Hi. 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 Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Sally and I did six episodes of this show about roller derby together. <laughs> Sally here was the star. <sighs> you. You were great. What was it called? Bonnie and the Boston Bombers. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was tragic. Makes sense. <laughs> World <laughs> events. <laughs> Makes so much sense. I'm like, where are they going with it? Oh, okay. I'm on the show. Mm. I'm That's how you got asked the by one now. who bought the zoo. <laughs> mm -hmm. See the star. It's <laughs> it's you're the lead? It's... Yeah, are you a little jelly? What's going on? Yeah. And when I was down there, I Yeah. And when he was down there, he learned a few things about how life doesn't always go according to plan. Mm. I'm really sorry. Damn, um, this really fucked her up. Can we just, can we start over? Damn. This <laughs> man is. <laughs> what is it exactly? Still time. <laughs> that you want. There you that go. Nigga said, <laughs> Improvise. You're trying to create a mood with a bullet. Those are lateral moves. Hmm. This isn't theater. It's business. Yes! DHL shows bullet was delivered and signed for 10 minutes ago. Three. There this you go. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hank, leave. Look, you want to get a man's attention. Take <clears throat> something away from him. What? Uh, what's this Bolivian fella's name? Cristobal Cifuentes. So, do something goofy. <laughs> Take his stash house. And when he comes up here to L.A. to deal with that, you kill him. Damn. What are we thinking about this lock, huh? Seems like a remnant. 
He said remnant though. <laughs> for everything though, I'm gonna need some need some bread for these hits. Bitch, you right. This nigga. What the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he sent celebrations, confetti. Oh, yeah. I had to cry for the scene, so. Mom and Zoo cries? My son fell in an eight pit fairy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Now you got the comforter. He ain't gonna make this hit, bro. Let's go do something. Yep, exactly. I, um, I love to, but I gotta go to work. Call him sick. I can't. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being a bitch. You, you gotta pay the bills, right? That's oh, right. Man, it's telling you be back in an hour or something. Oh, yeah, this dude still following? That nigga. You see Shorty in the back? She like, man, a big ass camera. Is it done? Is it done? Hank, you know, I can't just walk up to his front door with a big fucking gun. That would be stupid, right? Okay. Got it. Right. It's just the timing is key. Because to properly right. get into someone's head, it is truly. Hey, Sally. Damn. Are we doing another scene? Liv was just one of the bombers. Mm. I was the lead on a TV show. She was just supporting. She was number five on the fucking call sheet. Mm. Mute. Mute. Yo, you mute, feel mute, me? Mute, mute, mute. Oh, he's going back. He's mute. going back. M mute to make. Are you sure you can't hang right now? Look, okay. I really like to, but I can't. Maybe for 30 minutes. I mean, you I can come chill with me. Mm. He doesn't want to be alone. She doesn't want to be alone. Doesn't want to be alone. She doesn't want to be alone. You better go kick the door down. This man. Oh my. That's what I said. Barry. He need to infiltrate. Dan, it's a kid's room. Barry. No tiene que hacer esto. No tiene que hacer esto. Oh my God, Barry! Barry, you so slow. Are you gonna do something? What are you? Oh, oh my! Are you gonna stab him? Choke him out? Hello? This man did not come with a good plan at all. His little ass. Oh, oh he got okay. him. Okay. Yeah. He got him. Got the hooks in. He got him. Not. Don't let go yet. Still alive. The more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that Liv planned that. Bullet means nothing, though, now. He got choked out. <laughs> you got to put a bullet in it. Hello? Hey, man. How's it going? It's done. Same thing on good news. I could never At least you. That. And I don't know if you know this, but you have herpes for life. Life. But I think she's been fucking lying about her age for years. Yeah, my friend Amy, she was one of the other bombers. She had a nightmare about her last night. She's leukemia. That's a whole other story. You just passed my house. Jesus. Do you think I'm going to be a star? Like a movie star? Yeah. You're like the best actress I've ever. There we go. Come All over and chill. Mm -hmm. You know what's the deal. <laughs> oh, now you can picture it, huh? Soup, 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 uh, soup, soup. Lentil vegetable? Yeah. All right, what else we got? Some gum? <laughs> 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 This is what he's I'm like, what about. made him actually <laughs> dream? <laughs> oh, ooh. Exactly. No. <laughs> this is what you need to act on that stage. No DNS chaos arrest. Mm hmm. Why did you say that? Do you know what it means? Mm, you don't have to do this. Mmm. Yeah, I guess not. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. Back. Barry, I, there we have it, season one, episode three in the books, um, yeah, I enjoyed this episode right here, this one was really good, I like what they, what they played around with, obviously, um, the boss man kind of warming up to, to, flitch, flitch, no, I don't know. That. Bleach? Ah, damn, man. I thought you were going to pick it up for me. But um, it seemed like, you know, they, they, they somewhat come into an agreement now. Um, so eventually it seems like he's going to be let go. And Barry just seems to not have his head in the game right now, um, mm -hmm. which is, I feel like, going to be his demise because, 
Yeah, you, like you said, you're a professional, but yet you're not handling this in a professional manner. So it's going to be interesting to see how um, the rest of the season is going to play out. So overall, I thought this episode was pretty dope, man. How about you, Fomo? What's your thoughts on this one? Yeah, this one was cool. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying the whole, you know, title is typically somewhat of an acting lesson going mm-hmm. on here, um, especially coming from from the, the teacher and stuff. Um, but I can't lie. I'm really curious, like, the direction of this show. Like, no, know, knowing that there's, what, three or four seasons is like, damn, because, like, he, he wants to be done with this shit. Like, every, uh, all all directions is pointing towards him wanting to be done with this shit. So, like, there obviously is going to have to be something that's going to pull him back in, like, full throttle. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm assuming it's whatever, you know, Fuchs is, is trying to cook up. Um, with the Ch- Chetnians, Ch- Chetnians, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I- I'm really interested in like what what the rest of the season is gonna unfold. It's, it's crazy. Well, the, you know, there's also <clears throat> they brought it up in this episode was the the police presence. You know, they definitely yep. yep. kind of show that they're kind of moving in the right direction because the two only places they thought of were the places where he is at. So, um. I'm not really sure. I feel like it's going to be one of those moments like they're going to get it. They're going to, you know, know who to look for, but they're not going to have evidence for him. I feel like that's going to come later down the line. Right now it's just, you know, gathering information. So that's po- that's possibly where it could go, you know, in the future. But as of right now, the Chets, Chetians, 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 I think I'm saying it wrong, but still. Um, it seems like they're going to be dealing with them because, yeah, it's, it, it seems like they're somewhat, uh, somewhat idiots as well. Um, so I feel like their demise is coming soon as well. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if the police, a.k.a., because she did say she was going to contact the FBI on this. We'll see if they make a presence uh, here in the, in, the, in the future and actually have something. So, But, um... I like I like where this episode started, man. I definitely like where this episode started. It started with uh just <laughs> so funny bullshit. Like I I love the interaction between both the um what's the uh, what's buddy what's the ballhead uh, dude's name again? Mm-hmm. You, you ain't pick up on Hank. Anything? I think I think it was Hank. I love I love the interaction between him and his boss about you know having a, another assassin come through and all that. I thought that was pretty hilarious. The, that whole segment right there was pretty funny. And then, of course, you know, Barry, he got he got something to do, but he's his mind is elsewhere, and that's pretty much, you know, the acting gig. So I, I, I like the way the, the, the episode started. You know, it started with some real good uh, comedic uh, points, I feel like, um, pretty much laughing throughout the, the entire beginning. And, um, yeah. Kind of smoothed it out towards the end there. Yeah, the beginning was cool. The beginning, it, it set that pace, man. Like, it, it let us know exactly where Barry's at because, like, as soon as I seen him sitting out there and the target come out and the whole wait for the DHL bullet, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. And then he said from, what he said, from something to midnight. Yep. Like, from now until midnight, I'm like, come on, bro. You know Barry got these acting classes. Like he, he's definitely gonna leave the freaking mark, bruh. And it, you're right, it was really funny because the whole time, like I said, it felt like he was taunting his ass down there <laughs> because you know fucking Barry can't even shoot him right now. Like he's under these restrictions of waiting for a DHL bullet to to come into play. So yeah, they're definitely keeping that theme strong of like Barry's disconnect to being a hitter um, and him like really trying to double down on this acting lifestyle. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, definitely an uh, enjoyable comedic. Uh, beginning there and then like you said fucking the the other hitter coming in fucking <laughs> bro honestly at first I'm like yo is that the Don daughter in the background cause he was like Hank Hank like, <laughs> like, who the fuck like who the fuck is sounding like that back there nigga like so that's why I said that's why in, in episode one I was like it don't seem like no boss to me bro like but um, obviously you know they got the comedy uh, brewing plentiful mm-hmm. and I'm glad uh that uh buddy didn't die because like i said i seen him in gotham and i liked him in that um so this is uh, a nice 
a nice kind of vibe to his character too because in gotham obviously it wasn't like comedy or anything but he played victor's eyes so he was kind of like you know he had his moments i feel like in gotham but this i feel like he's uh he's allowed to have a lot more fun with his character so i'm enjoying him oh definitely. yeah i'm definitely enjoying his character right now he's he's quite the character to, to say the least like um yeah everything that he's done so far has been pretty much comedic uh, yeah I, I love it I love it um yeah so we did get it and right after that we did get a little bit of the you know the police coming in to, to interrogate everybody seems like they didn't really get much there and then pretty much right after that um we get uh names still haven't stuck yet it's three episodes in we get uh, the boss man and Buddy over there talking about, you know, just what the future could, could hold for them, especially when it comes to this assassination business. Because mm-hmm. the ones that the, the one that they brought over literally killed himself, which was crazy that the man said he was 45, but that man looked at least 85. Like, <laughs> that was yeah. funny. Um, but, yeah, it seems like he got something cooking up um, for them whether it's something to get him out or something that can pull him in even deeper so come on man what you know you know you know it's trying to pull him in deeper but yeah, you don't but, want barry to get out of this shit. no no that that's true we've seen how he um was acting in the first episode so that's true but at the same time do you think it's him just trying to get out of the situation he's in right now by just pretty much agreeing oh yeah that, that, that too yeah hell yeah that too that too, for sure, but he definitely wants his claws in Barry, though. He don't want Barry to be done with this shit, but yeah, he's definitely trying to finagle his way out of getting body. Mm. I mean, he <laughs> he put two and two together right there in his face. Yeah. Pop! <laughs> Unfortunately, so mm-hmm. yeah, he's trying to play that long game. Yeah. Um, one side character that I just wanted to mention that I thoroughly enjoy in this in this show is the, the teacher. I think he's... Uh, I just love him. The, the the way he just acts is is funny as fuck. Him pressing the the lady officer was pretty funny too. Yeah, I, I just can't wait to see more of his character because I just think he's a great a great actor. So um, definitely enjoy his presence. But yeah, man, um, do you think that's gonna be an issue going uh, forward with this hit that he didn't shoot him? Nah, right? Shouldn't be that big of an issue. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna get that crazy about it. Like, like he he did what he had to do. I think that's straightforward. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Um, what about um, what about Barry's decision at the end? Finally, right. going over the pipe. To go pipe? I mean, I knew that was coming eventually. Like, I didn't um, think it was coming that quick, though. To be honest. They always got to have a love interest, bro. And you know sex sells. They got to have somebody get piped before episode five. Like, <laughs> they, they, they they know if niggas don't see sex, they, ain't, they probably not going to finish watching this show, like, <laughs> unfortunately, man. So, um, but yeah, I, I had a feeling it was coming. But you're right, though. It was kind of like, damn, like, they uh, it went from that to that because she had such a, you know, dramatic moment um, seeing Liz. Or, yeah, Liz, I think was his name. What's her name? Um, so that kind of was just like, oh shit, like, if he do, especially when she called, like, I don't want to be alone, like, you're already kind of thinking, like, oh man, if he go, you already know that phone call, yeah, I don't want to be alone, yeah, you're not gonna be alone tonight, I'll be there, but that just, uh, that just, um, complicates what we've been saying for the past episode and a half is them pictures that Buddy keeps taking, like, that's just gonna make him even more protective over her, so any harm even comes close to her he gonna turn up 10 yeah so maybe that is what brings him in deeper is his connection to sally (laughs) 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 Uh, i wish i could help you there buddy (laughs) it's funny because it's like you started off so confidently but then that confidence just died towards the end of the word like sally I'm standing on it that's her name man. I'm standing <laughs> on it. i'm gonna oh, pay hella hard attention next episode not facts name, facts man. facts oh uh, but overall man, i think this episode did a really really a lot of good things um 
of course, Buddy's still out there throwing photos. So we'll see. We'll see what that. With that, uh, it, what they're trying to set up with that, um, these Chechens, I, I really can't trust them for 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 nothing. So I'm just I'm waiting to see when that's gonna switch up, when they're gonna start pressing them, and um, like is Barry gonna kind of turn up now that uh, his boy ain't kind of locked up? Um, we'll see, we'll see. I think I think once they press the the girl. I think that's when things are going to kind of go left here. So, yeah, man. Overall, I thought this episode was, was great, man. Uh, how about you, Former? Any final thoughts? Anything you want to bring up? Nah, man. I'm definitely ready to jump in and see what's uh, what's next. I'm trying to figure out, though, like... I don't know, man. These 30 minutes, man. I don't know, man. Like... I feel like they need to be like 40 or 45. <laughs> nah, they too short. Not huh? the full, not the, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like like the episodes have been good, but there feels like there's like a, a high point in the beginning, and then it gets like kind of sluggish like mm -hmm. for a minute, and then it brings you back up. Like, yeah. And them sluggish parts just be, they be, they be KOing me sometimes. Mm, like, so okay. I'm just like, I feel like if they had like a full 40, they'd be able to like pace it out a little bit better because they know, you know, what they, what they want to hit or not. Um, but we only in episode three, you know, mm -hmm. these are just, these are my early judgments. Um, yep, yep. but, uh, if I were to score this one, I'll give it, this one's all right. I'll give it like a seven, five. I think, it, I think it's cool right there. Okay. Yeah. I thought this was pretty much on par with the last episodes. Um, I thought this up. Yeah, th I do agree with you that it does start off really well. There is a, di a, a small dip, um, but I didn't think it was too too bad. Um, so I'm gonna I'm give it an A5. I think it's a solid episode. Um, definitely, it's kind of gearing us to what's to come. So we'll see how they handle that in the future. So A5 from your boy here, 75 from Formal. I already know what it is, man. If y'all still rocking with us this long, we appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, like the video, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this episode. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. You know the goal. And if you're into them full-length reactions, Patreon link is in the description down below. FRR is out. Peace.